At the end of July, we will host the Aid for Trade Global Review at the WTO in Geneva. This is the eighth edition of the Global Review, and this year we will examine the theme Empowering Connected Sustainable Trade. The Aid for Trade initiative seeks to support the integration of developing and least developed countries into the global economy through the building of the necessary trade-related infrastructure and giving businesses the required support to trade. It examines where development finance is going and helps to connect needs with resources. A little more than 556 billion US dollars has been disbursed in aid for trade support since the initiative started. In 2020, donors spent some 23 billion US dollars in trade related infrastructure. These projects can help countries upgrade things like port facilities, improve the flow of trade, among other things. Aid for trade support can also help modernize customs and other border procedures to improve efficiency and lower costs. This example of improving efficiency at the border speaks to the issue of trade facilitation. This is part of a category of support where donors disbursed just over a billion dollars in 2020. I'm pleased that Aid for Trade is increasingly mainstreaming gender priorities into programs. When we come together on the 27th to the 29th of July in Geneva, we'll be looking at how the COVID-19 pandemic has changed the trade landscape for developing countries. Other issues are now looming over the global economy, including inflation, food security, and other supply-side concerns that will also be addressed. I look forward to a rich discussion and finding solutions that address the needs of developing countries. I also look forward to seeing you in person or online at the Aid for Trade Global Review.